Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Aston Martin call it the Vanquish, we call it the Vanish. Anyway, thanks for joining us on today's video. We are looking at an ultra low production figure, ultra low mileage, collectible exotic. You say, well, Tone, how could you possibly predict the future? Well, you're right. I can't predict the future, but I do know this. When cars are hand built and they're built in low production numbers and they have uh, low mileage with a lot of pedigree, service records and things like that, like this car has, and the condition of it is, it has only one way to go up and that's go up in value. As these cars come out, uh, we're doing this in 2019, right, to 16 years later, this car only has 17,000 miles on it or so. We're talking about uh, a car driven a little over a thousand miles a year. This is an amazing piece of, of, of history and equipment. I always loved this car as a kid. Uh, I could never afford one, obviously, uh, back in the day when they were the V8s of the 70s and what have you. Then this comes out. This is a very different car than a DB9 or uh, any of the DB7s or anything like that in that range or the, or the Vantages. This is a real deal, hand built, expensive, right? With all the best components. We're gonna walk around this car for a minute. You're gonna see brakes like this. The reason why the wheels and tires are this big is so they could stuff more brakes inside there. The body is very different. It's handmade, it's squatty on the back, shorter roof. The interior is full leather from the, from the front of the windshield all the way to the back, all hand stitched and hand picked. So we'll start with some great looking paint and a great looking hood. The vented hood, man, has come back, right? The vented hood went away for a little while, and now all the modern cars today, supercars, are all back with the vented hood. Aston Martin has been a great styling feature forever. And I want to say one last thing real quick. We didn't drill the bumper for a front tag bracket. We can custom make one that mounts underneath. The pictures that you saw online are just a tag that we stuck on the front. So we want to let you know we have not molested this car in any way at all. All right, it's our job to take care of it. So when we give it to you, then it's up to you. All right, so let's take a peek at the quality of the paint. And now look at how you can read all of the letters crystal clear, right? That lets you know that, that the paint is not only painted, but it's wet sanded, it's buffed, and then it's, it's show detailed. This is the kind of car that you could take to a show, right? Take to a show and show off. Uh, wait till we open the hood. The engine is, I think actually it starts here and goes to the trunk is how big it is. But I could be exaggerating some, but we'll check that out in just a second. All right, let's take a peek under here. Depending on what you read, it's either 5.9 liters or 6 liters, right? V12 and some really cool pieces. This is, a, they rated at 460. I hear people talk about 500 horsepower in the Vanquishes all the time uh, because the engines are hand built. For instance, all engines are hand built by Aston, but in this case here, David Alderman. Uh, built this for this car here. So some really cool stuff. We're talking about 16 years later, this cool carbon strut bar. These right here are not for uh, bringing in cool air. They're actually for letting hot air out of the engine compartment. Those are on top of the exhaust headers and manifold system, which vents those out through there. So you can imagine when you're sitting in a traffic light and you see it kind of trickling out of the hood, it's the coolest effect ever, all right? Uh, this has ram air too, so all of the cold air, which is going into those intakes, comes right here for the front bumper. This is all detail stuff that they put into this. This car was so far ahead of its time with a fully independent suspension, uh, four wheel disc brakes that are just massive, this six liter uh, V12 approaching the 500 mark, and that F1 style transmission with lightning fast shifts. I mean, it is awesome. In these cars here, some of them, uh, I'm not sure whether it was optional in this year or not, some were, some weren't, and then they became standard, but this has the Lin audio system in it. The Lin audio system, so far ahead of its time. For instance, if you look back here, you have mid-ranges with two tweeters in each one, subwoofer there in the middle, speakers all throughout. This is a serious piece of expensive, expensive British uh, engineering. These cars now are approaching the $300,000 mark. Uh, to pick up one of these. This was 222 in uh, 2003. So if you can convert that in today's dollars, carry the one, I think it was 1.2 million. Anyway, probably my figures are off, but you, know, you get what I'm saying. All right, let's peek inside here because believe it or not, this is a beautiful trunk. 
set of golf clubs should be able to fit inside there, right? Beautifully detailed. This is the amp for the Lin system, right? And it's got a CD changer in the back too, right? And then of course a handmade carpet and a little bit of the jacking uh, pieces that you need here as well as a tow hook uh, for the front bumper. And that's typically where we would add a front tag bracket into that tow hook so that you could uh, not have to drill the bumper and it would look really, really good. All right, so come on in here for a minute because uh, although the car is stunning from the outside, the inside is just spectacular. All of these pieces are adjustable. Look at the styling, little stuff like this, like these polished pieces here in the console, right? Killer audio system, climate control, right? All of this is leather and all of it's in really nice shape. It hasn't shrunk like some of the other cars you see. The doors, if you could get some pictures and a little video of the design of these doors, you can see that's almost like a Nautilus that goes into the handle there. I just point that stuff out because these are the little touches that make exotic cars so different than regular cars. And when you get a car like this, this is the price of a new Corvette right now. That's how nice this car is. A new Corvette costs about this. And here you're getting an exotic 12-cylinder car with ultra-low miles that is spectacular inside with every modern accoutrement you could ever imagine. All right, so as we close up the video, there are so many technological details buried inside the chassis of this car infusion of aluminum and uh, torsion uh, rear differentials. I don't want to get into all of that stuff here right now. We can talk about that a little bit later. But what I wanted to do is I wanted you to see what your car looks like when you're going down the road from the outside. And that's all that needs to be said here. Low mileage, low production, incredible quality, incredible preserved nature that it's in right now. Service records, freshly serviced as well. It's ready for turnkey driving. You want to take it to a car show, take it to the beach for the weekend, go on a cruise in the mountains, whatever it may be, this is the car to do it in. Anyway, call us 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this 03 Vanquish V12. And click on the link below for prices, pictures, and more descriptions.